Come on in. Hi, Miss Thompson. Hi, I'm Patty. Patty? Oh, hi, Patty. Kelsey Kaiser with ADP. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Good. Do you mind if I take a seat? Sure, here? you can sit down. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Hi. What? Who are you here to meet? I'm actually here to meet with um, Ben and Bonita Thompson. Taylor set up an appointment today. Okay. Um, well, Taylor is no longer here. Okay. Um, me and my husband took over the business a few weeks ago. So okay. let me go grab him and see if he has a few minutes to talk sure. to you. Sure. Okay? Yeah, I'd really appreciate okay. that. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you. You have a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Hi, Kelsey Kaiser with ADP. Nice to meet you. Brandon Cook. Brandon Cook, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. It's okay if I take a seat here? Sure, absolutely. So yeah, sorry, I didn't know we had this meeting today. I know you met with Taylor a couple weeks ago. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, I still have time to meet with you. Okay, well thank you very much. I really do appreciate your time. No problem. I do have to compliment you on the facility as I was walking in. It's really beautiful. Oh, I appreciate it. And you know, really a unique, um, fun place for people to hang out. Absolutely. We do try and do a lot of charity stuff here with, you know, competitions and dodgeball tournaments and stuff like that. But yeah, we have a lot of fun. Wow, that's wonderful. Well, I, you know, I do have to tell you, I'm planning on bringing my family here oh, next cool. time we have a birthday party or something like that. Very cool. Well, you know, I do want to be mindful of your time, so I would like to set an agenda. Is 20 minutes okay for you for a meeting today? Sure. All right, so first I'd like to go over what Taylor and I discussed in our last meeting okay. and then ask you some more questions about Jumping Jungle and how you currently process your payroll and other HR administrative tasks. Sure, it's actually called Jumping World now. Jumping World? Okay, yeah. well, thank you for letting me know no that. So then if we do find a fit, I do have a presentation prepared for you. Okay. All right, at first, before we get started, though, I do want to give you my business card. Okay. If you have any questions today, um, after today's meeting, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Okay. And you know, I just want to let you know what I do here for uh, at ADP is I meet with about six to eight small business owners just like yourself every day, and you know, help them find a way how we can add value to their business through ADP. And really, you know, I am qualified to ask you the right questions since your business is unique to help save you some money. Okay. All right. So if you could just <clears throat> explain to me, you know, what has happened in the past couple weeks here at Jumping World? Sure. Well, um, we uh, we just my wife and I own the business. Um, okay. And we um, we just purchased this location. Um, okay. So we have four locations total. Sure. We have uh, about 42 employees total. Um, six are about full time. Um, the rest are part time. They're usually high school students. Okay. So you know. Sure. Trying to get good work that way is a little difficult. Okay. Um, you mentioned uh, payroll. We do our payroll biweekly. Um, okay. And my wife does most of that right now. Okay, wonderful. So this is your fourth location that you mentioned? Correct. You know, what are your goals for growth or um, growth opportunities? Sure. Um, right now it's you know to get this business underneath our feet real quick, um, but then to continue to keep growing and trying to see where, you know, until someone tells me to stop. All right, wonderful. So looking to get more locations, hiring Absolutely. on more people? Correct. And if you don't mind me asking, so you brought you hired more people than when you did um, take over this location? Um, hired a couple extra people, but um, yeah, nothing yet, just because it's so brand new still, we're trying to figure it out. Okay, wonderful. Well then regarding your um, regarding uh, payroll decision maker, I know you said that you and your wife are the owners. Should there be anyone else involved in this meeting? No. Okay, wonderful. Well then if you wouldn't mind just describing to me how you currently do process your payroll, you know, from punch in to paycheck. Um, sure, so right now uh, the majority of the people are all hourly and uh, they fill out manual time cards. Okay. Um, and then the managers at each location uh, collect them all. Sure. And then uh, my wife, Lisa, you know, sits there and in between taking care of our three kids, uh, you know, goes through and adds up everything and, you know, does the payroll manually that way. She uses uh, QBooks, I think. QBooks? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. How long do you think that usually, that process takes as a whole between your wife and the managers? Uh, probably right around like six hours. Okay, is there anything else you would like them to be doing with their time? Um, well, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, she could spend it doing anything else, I'm sure, uh, right. in her head, but trying to run a household with three kids and uh, payroll isn't always as easy as it sounds. Right, that's that's understandable. Um, so then regarding payroll with the manual, do they just report to their hours or do they, is it, do you use any rounding systems with that? Just hours. So they just give us how many hours they work each day, each kid has a schedule or whatever, and then we collect them at the end of each week. Okay. And I know you you have a great I'm sure you have a great team in play here, but do you ever worry that they're you know maybe not even intentionally stealing time or have any time theft issues? Um, I haven't had any issues yet. I it's kind of out of sight of my mind. I haven't thought about it, but now that you bring that up, yeah, we we probably do. 
especially you know with younger kids you know they might not understand what they're doing so sure. maybe that could be a concern for you yeah it might not be on purpose but it could be happening absolutely okay great so we did just cover um, the payroll process if you wouldn't mind describing to me your um, recruiting and onboarding process then um, usually word of mouth Okay. Um, you know, a lot of these high school kids have friends and stuff like that that are right. looking for jobs, and so that's how we usually get the majority of the people. Um, and then we, uh, you know, do a quick check on them real quick, make sure that they're, you know, humans. And then, right. uh, <laughs> you know, we, we hire them on. We haven't had to hire too many people, though, in the last uh, year and a half because a couple of people stayed with us. Okay, well that's wonderful. And you said you do a check on them. Is that a background check that you conduct or a reference check? Uh, just a reference check. Okay, so you don't currently do background checks? No. Have you ever had an instance where having a background check might have been beneficial? You know, I'm sure you have great employees, but if it was it ever a performance issue? Not yet. Okay. Um, but uh, it doesn't say that doesn't happen. Right. All right. And do you feel like you're confident that you are hiring the correct people to be employed on your team then? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, then the last area that I do want to ask you about is, um, I, you know, based on our experience, every one out of three companies does experience a tax penalty every year. So I'm, you know, I'm not sure who does your taxes, but have you ever had any experience with that? Uh, no, my wife does that, and she's got, uh, you know, an accounting background and stuff like that. Okay, um, wonderful. But it's just, you know, I guess the only trouble she has with that is just keeping up with the laws and regulations. Right. You know, so she spends a lot of time on Google. Okay, so she's just Googling to keep up with the compliance issues? Correct. And if there ever was a, a fine or a mistake on the taxes in that unfortunate situation, who would um, pay for that, or whose shoulders would that fall on? On mine, yeah. Okay, or so, us as the owners. Okay, so if there ever would be a fine, that could be detrimental to your business? Absolutely. All right. And just um, going off of compliance again, how do you keep up with the compliance of the labor law posters that are hanging in your office? Um, I, I, that's all on her. So okay. I'm not sure what she does, um, but I think yeah, a lot of it is spent you know, either asking other colleagues that she used to work with or you know, just, as, again, researching on the Internet. Right. Okay. So maybe, again, just some com compliance issues there as well. Sure. All right, well, thank you so much for answering my questions today. I really do appreciate it. Just to kind of summarize what we've talked about, you know, first it sounds like big time opportunity. You have your managers and your wife processing your payroll, but really there's a lot of other things that they'd rather be doing. Could be helping out with the business, growing it, as well as spend, you mentioned your wife spending time with your kids. Mm -hmm. Second, um, we have the compliance issues with background checks you mentioned. You, you haven't complete, um, com done them in the past, but they could be something in the future that would really you know, help you grow and strengthen your business. Sure. And then lastly, the compliance with, ish, uh, with taxes. So even though your wife may be wonderful at running them, if there ever was a mistake or she Googled wrong information, the fine would fall on your shoulders. Yes. Is there anything else that you think I'm missing here today? Um, no. Okay. Well, then if it's okay with you, I will turn it over to my presentation. Sure, absolutely. All right. Wonderful. Well, so like I mentioned before, I am with ADP. And that stands for Automatic Data Processing. Okay. And at ADP, we process every one in six checks in the nation, as well as we serve over 400,000 small business clients just like yourself. Okay. But, you know, at ADP, we like to think that we're more than a payroll company. You know, it sounds like a cliche, but we really are in the business of your success. So first, we have the cash management section here. So that's going to be actual the payroll service, so you can focus on your sales. Second is people management. You know, this is very important because people are your number one asset. And we want to make sure that you have the right team in play. Sure. So going off of that, included in our service are those background checks that we mentioned for you. It comes with our service. So you can make sure that you're hiring the right people and we never have any issues there. Okay. Also, including in that is, you know, you're talking about the manual, um, the manual punching in system. So you know, we could set up a time and labor management system so you know that you're actually paying your employees for the correct amount of time that they have worked. Oh, wow, okay. So and this also handles the, the cash flow as well, correct? Correct, okay. yes. So finally, we do have the risk management. You know, this is just to release some of the stress of actually running a business. We will file your payroll taxes for you, the 1099s, W-2s, and at ADP, we are right 99.9% .9 of the time, but if there ever was that unfortunate 0.1% chance that we made a mistake, we would cover all the fines for you. Oh, wow, okay. So you see how that could really benefit your business? Sure. And then finally, we do have our labor law posters, including in the risk management as well. We will send you um, a new poster every time it is updated. Okay. Do you see how that could reduce some Absolutely. risk for you as well? All right, so do you see how it are, really our 360-degree approach can benefit your business? Sure, um, but, you know, ADP is a large company. Right. And, you know, uh, last week I had an issue with my cable, and I called Time Warner. 
it took three or four transfers before I got to the right person. Sure. How do I make sure I'm just not another number to ADP? Well, I completely understand your concern with that. Um, I actually do hear that from my clients a lot. So what we have in ADP is we have a client um, service team that you have. So when you do call into our 24-7 support line, they, the first time you um, make contact with someone, mm -hmm. every time you call back after that, they'll try to connect you with that same person again. Okay. We also have the one call resolution so the first time you call it, you should get an answer to your question. Oh, wow, okay. And then also, I am a local representative, so if you would ever need anything, you can always contact me, you have my information. Okay, cool. Does that ease your concern with Absolutely. the customer service side of things? Sure. Okay, great. Well, then I would really like to show you how I can save, or how ADP can save your wife and those managers that time, that valuable time to actually process the payroll. Sounds good. Is it okay <coughs> if I scoot over there to show you this? Yep. All right. So this is what I'm really excited about. It's called our ADP Run mobile app. So first right here, we have the payroll options. So that's going to be what you're going to choose to process your payroll. Okay. So I'll let you drive since you're going to be the one showing your wife this. All right. So right here is just saying that we're going to be starting a new week. So you can go ahead and click Start Weekly. Okay. And then this page just shows when the checks will come out, when the period starts, and then when the period will end. And you can switch the direct deposit feature on or off. We use direct deposit. Okay, so we'll just keep it on. You can go ahead and click start. Okay. And then this is, will be a list of all your employees. You can um, sort them by hourly, salary, or if you ever do have any contract workers for 1099s, you can put that in as well. Okay. So if that looks good, we can hit preview. And then calculate. And this is just saying that we're just in demo mode here. Sure. And this is actually my favorite feature of the ADP Run app. It's going to be the cash required in your bank account to actually process your payroll. Okay, good. So that's the cash flow. Yes, so okay. that's going to be the cash flow. To make sure you have that, you can go back and finish it later if you need to go make sure you have that. But otherwise, if everything looks good, we can hit approve and approve payroll, and you're done. Wow. So do you really see how that could save your wife and your managers a lot of time with actually processing the payroll? Sure, absolutely. Sure. So how are you feeling so far about ADP then? Uh... Good. Um, you know, you answered that about the big question or the big company and stuff like that. But, you know, let me ask you. You've been here six months? Yes, that is correct. Okay. And you're what, 21, 22? I'm 23, yes. Okay, so 23. Um, I've been doing this for three and a half years, and obviously I've invested all of my, you know, my life savings. This is my world. Right. Um, why would I turn my payroll over to somebody who's been with the company for six months? You know, I completely understand what you're concerned with that. I am newer to ADP. But with, um, with ADP, we actually have very extensive several week training program that I go through. Um, you know, I'm working with my mentors still every day, contacting them, keeping them updated on my current clients such as yourself. But I think it's actually an advantage for me to be a newer employee since I am right fresh out of that you know, experience training. And so I can really, you know, find value for your company. Okay. Does that ease your concern with my age then? Sure. Okay, wonderful. So is there any reason why you wouldn't move forward with ADP today? Um, I guess the the biggest thing is I got to talk to my wife. Okay. Um, you know, obviously she she does a lot of this stuff on the side of the business. Sure. Um, so I'd, I'd need to speak with her first. Well, I completely understand that you definitely don't want to step on anyone's toes, but you did mention that you are the main decision maker. Correct. And we do want to start saving you that time and money right away. The great thing about ADP is we not we're not on a contract basis. It's payroll to payroll. Okay. So you could get that implemented today. Start saving that time. See how she thinks about the system. And at that point, we could, you know, see what goes from there. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I, I hear you. Um, but I guess, you know, more or less, I want to get my, you know, I just bought this business. I want to get my feet underneath me real quick before we do anything. So maybe a follow-up meeting Okay. might be the best way. Do you have any questions that I can answer for you to help ease your concern? Um, no, not right now. Just basically just kind of showing what you've, you've gone over today and showing okay. it to my wife. All right. Well, then let's set up a second meeting with you and your wife. Okay. When would be a good time for you? Uh, next week, Tuesday or Thursday. Okay. So how about Tuesday the 8th? That works. And would morning or afternoon work best for you? Uh, morning. Morning? Okay. So maybe about 9 a.m.? Sure. That works. And I'll just come right back here to your office? Sure. And meet with both of you and your wife? That works. Okay. Great. So I do just want to leave this behind for you. Sure. What do you have some there? information for you to show her okay. as well as for you to look over. We do have our pricing proposal added in here, but this is going to be really important for you because it will be our next steps. If 
you know, after talking with your wife, if you'd want to gather all this information so we can start um, implementing you as a new client as soon as possible. So what will happen is when I do add you as a new client, the implementation specialist will call you within 24 hours. Okay. And they will set you up at, set you up with your payroll, and then I will come back and process your first two payrolls with you. Oh, wow. Okay. So you'll be here on site with me? Yes. Okay. I will be here with you doing, running through that, making sure everything else is working correctly. Okay. I also have some documents in here. Um, our HR 411, I think, will be very important for you. And that's going to include um, all the things that we talked about with, you know, hiring the right people. There's going to be a professional set of tools and resources for you to use to make sure that you have the right team in play. Okay, so this comes along with you guys. Huh? Yep, that's all included like, like we discussed before. Okay. Well, if they, do you have any other questions for me today then? Uh, no, not right now. Just, uh, yeah, let me talk to my wife um, and then uh, we'll meet next week. Okay, sounds great. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. All right, so I will see you next week at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Yep. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. <laughs> good job. Thank you. Very good job. Here. Thank you. Your real the, oh, you said this. It's like it was your real name. <laughs> yeah, they did use my real name. Um, but yes, you did a very good job. Thank you. I really appreciate that. What school are you from? Um, Wisconsin Eau Claire. Oh, okay. So the same as the yep. mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, it was really exciting to have both of us in here. Yeah, I was gonna say. Still have one out there, should I bring that? Right. 